Can you help me to complete the statement? What do you think the computer will fill in the blanks? Man is to computer programmer versus women is to almost. Any answer? I wish it is. The answer is homemaker. This result is from when a team of researchers in Boston University asked a popular algorithm to complete the statements. The algorithm is used to teach machines about relationship between words based on how and how often they are used together. The team found an obvious gender bias. The algorithm is trained using Google News stories. So this bias is built by all of us. Machines learn from humans, and it imitates our existing gender bias. I'm a woman, and I'm a developer. And I want to encourage more women to join technology for one reason: to build an inclusive future. We live in the digital age. Many parts of our lives are related to technologies, from what jobs we get, who drives our car, what news we read, how we record our health, even how we keep in touch. This is our present and is our future. Alongside the increasing importance of technology skills, there's a lack of participation by women and girls in tech. Looking at the reports by the global tech companies, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, and you can name a few more, female employees only make up about 35% of their workforce. Compared to 65% in education and 73% in healthcare, women are underrepresented in tech, and so is our voice. Through my work at Microsoft, I've attended many hackathons. In a typical hackathon, people form into teams to come up with、um, innovative solutions to improve the current business. I enjoy it so much because we can turn our creativity into real innovations. It's such an incredible experience. Yet, fewer than 10 percent of the participants are female. Often, I'm the only woman in the team. I wonder to myself, why are there only a few female participants? They're missing all the fun. When I was in school, I never thought of jumping into technology. I was a typical Hong Kong graduate. I went to a local school studying science and mathematics, and I was good at it, and I love it. I was always in the top five percent of the class, roughly.、Um, yes, but I took a business degree at universities. Because I was told it promised to find me a stable and high-income career in Hong Kong. In fact, business is always one of the Asian parents-approved majors. <laughs> Can you imagine that? They got a list. I've seen it. Technology was never presented to me as an option by my parents and education. Hong Kong is the financial center of Asia. So many Hong Kong students are steered towards a business degree in order to fit the society expectation and definition of success. But to truly succeed, we need more young people, especially women. This thinking leads to a hesitation among young people to choose career in STEM: science, technology, engineering, and mathematics subjects. In fact, the number of women in STEM is very low. According to the Women's Foundation research in Hong Kong, 52% of women are studying STEM subjects in high school. Only 14% choose 
choosing a STEM-related program at universities. Just 4% will remain in STEM for their careers. It is a huge loss of female talents. Our future developers in Hong Kong. Imagine how many more innovations all those women could create. When I ask other young female professionals, "Why are you not considering technology industry?" a lot of them say, mm, "I am not a technical people, but I wish I could." As women, we don't realize that we can do great as them. Often, self-doubt gets in the way of us pursuing career in tech. When I transitioned from a non-tech role to a technical role as a developer at Microsoft, I faced the same self-doubt. What I quickly learned is that. People in technology do not necessarily know everything about coding, machine learning, artificial intelligence. In fact, no one is an expert in technology. I decided to develop my own technical knowledge through formal and informal learnings, and as I progressed, I realized that I can have productive discussion with developers. And even influence the work that we are doing. I transformed into a taggy, and my self-doubt disappeared. I realized that I'm just fulfilling my own curiosity. I love the journey of learning new tech. Technology is all about transformation and innovation. If you think you're not ready for it, I can tell you. No one is ever ready for it. The World Economic Forum forecasts that seven out of ten children starting their education today will ultimately end up working in new jobs that do not currently exist. Technology evolves so quickly that everyone in technology is always learning. You are never behind in tech. It's never too late to join. A lot of technologies today are powered by data for decision making. When a machine can make its own decision and learn from us, we branded it as artificial intelligence or AI. In simple terms, machine learning or AI uses mathematical algorithms to calculate how likely things will happen and how humans react to those situations. AI relies heavily on large amounts of existing data in order to learn. Social media is a very good source of data. It reflects the interactions of its users, us, and our bias is influencing AI. Let me give you an example. Twitter is one of the world's largest social media network with over 330 million users. Sending 500 million tweets a day. Research done by King's College London analyzed the tweets of five female and five male global leaders. It found that overall, more negative sentiments were expressed against female leaders compared to male leaders. From this example, AI learns that female leaders are less likable. According to Reuters, tech giant Amazon uses AI for their recruitment to streamline CV process. Its system taught itself to downgrade CV with the word "women" in them. For example, candidates from the women's colleges and women chess club captain received lower score compared to male counterparts. Amazon killed the project last year because they could not stop it from discriminating against female candidates. This bias in artificial intelligence matters because AI isn't just powering voice assistant or recommending Netflix shows. 
It is deciding people's jobs, their opportunities, and their future. I'm not criticizing the model or the algorithm. It is just presenting the result as a product of historical data. When the historical data shows that most of the hires were male, you steer the AI to recommend a male candidate as a better fit. Amazon's system learns by observing patterns in CV over a 10-year period. Biases in, biases out. Technology and data can have inherent biases from its creators and contributors. If women do not contribute to technology and eliminate these biases, our voice and aspirations will be diminished in the future. We could not afford to have women excluded from the future, and I don't want our next generation to face the same. Barriers, self-doubt, stereotypes. I want women to jump into technology and enjoy the fun. So, here's my ask of you. Firstly, to parents and educators, dump the list. Every career is transforming into a tech career. Encourage young women. To pursue STEM at school, at university, and as career option. Secondly, to business leaders, create more diversity in your team. We need a broader perspective in order to counteract these biases. Provide more transparency and appreciation. On how non-technical people and their skills can contribute to technology development. Lastly, to everyone, especially women, technology is a part of life. It is no longer just about coding and programming. It is about innovation and solving real-life problems. Women are some of the greatest problem solvers out there. Just imagine how many more global problems that could have been solved with more women in tech. So be brave, and take action, and be part of the fun. Let's build a better and inclusive future. Thank you.